Hello everyone, I am the one, the only, the truest Lord Pancake, except no substitutes, or else they won't install your drivers properly and cause you all kinds of problems. So, this is going to be another one of my how-to quick little fix-it videos for uh, an issue I've been dealing with. If you're following my uh, Resident Evil 7 Let's Play, you would know I've been having some issues with my microphone and headsets and so on and so forth. And part of that was a physical issue with the headset itself. There was a short in the wire, but also there are some software issues. And I did some digging, and from my digging, I found that a lot of people are having this particular issue. And you'll see it a lot for uh, Logitech headsets, but it's not a Logitech issue issue judging from all the different uh, ways to resolve it it's hard to actually say specifically if it's an issue but based on the solutions it doesn't sound like it's a specific to logitech problem so a lot of people are giving them flack for that and it's just they're throwing their blame in the wrong place but that happens uh, that happens anyway with almost everything so so the salute so we can go through some of the issues and some of the ways to uh, resolve the solution. The big issue is your microphone and your sound muting on you when you're trying to do something, like when you're trying to do a recording, or if you're, you, or if you're trying to play a game. All of a sudden, you'll completely lose your audio. Sometimes you won't get your audio back until you reseat your uh, headset in the in the appropriate port. And this can be a very frustrating problem. I'd be frustrated. I was frustrated because I'm sitting here trying to start my YouTube. My wonderful YouTube life and I can't. It makes everyone sad, especially me. So one of the first things that you can do, obviously, is you check to make sure your drivers are intact. Now, in regards to the drivers, we're going to stick on that subject for a moment is one of the things you can do is you can go to your start menu you can click on your control panel you can go to hardware and sound and then it you think we're going to sound but we're not we're actually going to instead be going to devices and printers even though a printer is a device Anyway, and depending on where it is, it might be listed directly under devices or it might be listed under unspecified. And you might see your, you should see your headset listed. And if you right click on it, you can go down to properties. And if you select hardware, it'll show you like all the different, uh, drivers and so forth that they have installed with it. And actually, yeah. And then if you, sorry, thought I did a missed up there, but I did not. So if you go to the hardware tab, you'll also see properties. And you can go into change settings. And again, you'll see that same list of uh, drivers. And if you click the uh, driver tab and hit uninstall, which I will not do because then we will we'd end up losing audio, and that's probably not too uh, not the most helpful way to shoot a video. And then you click uninstall. It'll say, "Hey, you're uninstalling your driver." You say, "I'm cool with that." Hit OK, and go from there. Then you go through each one of these listed and you do the same. Until all of them are installed. And you want to go through them in order and you want to stay click, clicked into here. Because after you uninstall the USB device here, this will disappear out of the menu. And you can't get back to it to uninstall the, file, the last driver. And... After you have these uninstalled, 
what you want to do is if you have the drivers already sitting somewhere in like your installer folder or if you don't go to your go to the manufacturer of your headsets website check to see if they have their own special drivers that they install and install those or pos or reinstall them if you already have them reinstall those and then reseat your headset and the reason why this is working out for some people is it's very possible that the Microsoft drivers that they uh, look for online may interfere with some of the thing, things that are be, trying to be installed from the official uh, developer. I'm not exactly sure where Microsoft gets all their drivers from. They could be the they could be the official uh, developers drivers or they could be generic drivers. It's hard to say. I I'm sure I could find out, but I don't know at the moment. But anyway, you can do that, and I've, some people are saying that this has actually helped them to where you install the manufacturer's drivers before you plug your headset back in, and their, the muting issue disappears for them. And that definitely makes sense, so that is one thing you could try. And that is probably the most difficult one. And you're going to want to save that for last. The only reason why I mention it first is usually the first thing you try if you have any issue with anything on your system is you check the driver. So if you're going to make that your first step, you may want to do the step in that order. Okay, so next one's a lot simpler. Is If you have it in your taskbar here, you can, either, you can just right-click on sound or alternatively, if you do not have this in little taskbar there you can go to back to your control panel and then again to hardware and sound but this time you're going to click on sound and that's going to bring up the different devices that you have and you should see a green check mark to, if it's selected properly for your speakers for the headset that you're currently want to use if any of these other ones are selected, make sure you deselect it. And you can also save yourself a bit of a headache by disabling anything you know you're not going to be using. You can always re-enable them later if you ch change your mind. But go ahead and you can just disable anything you don't want to trying to uh, push sound to. Because that in and of itself can cause problems. Now... First thing you want to do is make sure recordings, it has the right thing selected, and speakers, it has the right thing selected. And then you're going to want to go over to the communications tab. And in the communications tab, you'll see these options as far as, this is what Microsoft does whenever it hears something coming in over uh, a recording device to all the other audio that's going on in the system. It's designed to lower the volume of everything, which is, in theory, supposed to make it easier to hear you while you're recording. That way, it's you don't have to go through well, as many like post-production steps to balance that audio out. You might be able to just do nothing to your audio, and you'd have everything drop down just the way you need it. There's a problem because sometimes when it try when it tries to turn that audio down, it just completely mutes it. Even if you don't have the mute all other sounds option selected, it completely mutes it, and then you don't get it back. Not helpful. So, if you go to select the option of do nothing, it eliminates that. It won't do anything. It lets you decide and have control over there. And there are applications such as uh, Lightworks for video editing where you have a lot of things you can do in post to balance out sound and make it work better. So there's no need to let Microsoft decide what's best for you. Go ahead and decide for yourself. Okay, so the next thing is if you go into recording and you select the microphone, and this is one that's gonna can be a little bit difficult. 
because if it's doing the pro if it's doing the issue as you're sitting here looking at it once you select microphone and try and click on properties the microphone may disconnect it may just vanish on you so you have to be a little fast and in this area what you're going to want to do is go to advanced and under the advanced tab you'll see the different audio channels that it can be recorded on and the, the different frequencies and by default it is set on either the uh, 44100 or the 48 for quality if you switch to FM quality and then click apply it should stop that from happening I'm not exactly sure why this causes an issue specifically like when you're trying to do recordings and things like that but it has been known I've seen a few different YouTube videos also making the same suggestion and it did work out for me to resolve a lot of my issues Now the next thing you might possibly do if that one doesn't work for you and you're still getting that muting issue is if you go into your playback, select your speaker, and again we're going to hit properties, and we're going to go to enhancements. And under enhancements you'll see a few different options that you can do for your enhancements. You're going to want to go down to loudness equalization. On loudness equalization go ahead and select loudness equalization and make sure that's checked and then hit apply. That also balances that is another thing that helps balance out the audio. Again I'm not exactly sure where the, why this can cause some chaos and when you're trying to use your microphone in game or do recordings. But this is another solution that has been offered and I did notice making this change was able to get some things restored for me like uh, dying light thank you brain you you did good dying light I was having issues if I turned on the in-game microphone even just had it like as an active option in the options menu I'd play for about five minutes and then <laughs> mute it and I'd have to restart it. Switching this option on fixed it. I guess it's just part of it. Maybe it tri maybe without that equalized something gets triggered and it tries to mute the audio on its own and I don't know. But that has worked for me. And it's been very beneficial, very helpful. Other than that, if you're still having problems in game, the thing you want to you may want to try is actually turning off the in game microphone. If you go into your options, you can turn off the in game microphone, and that has helped me out because I still have issues with uh, the division, and the issues with the division is a big one that I'm gonna have to uh, dig a little deeper into, where it mutes my audio entirely, not just for the game. Literally, even after the game is shut down, everything is muted. I have to reseat my headset in order to get any sound to my system back to my headset whatsoever. Make sure I almost think that uh, Tom Clancy might still be behind it. He's testing our grid or something. Okay, well, those are some solutions that if you're having audio issues... With the audio cutting in and out, with audio just randomly muting on you when you're trying to uh, play your games, those are some of the solutions I've found. If you have alternate solutions, feel free to share them in the comment section. In fact, I greatly encourage you to. We, you know, we got to kind of work together here to help each other out. And also, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. That's always appreciated. And also, go ahead and share all you want on social media. That's also appreciated. And until next time, you have yourself a wonderful one.